What are we doing standing at my sink staring at a whole bunch of bottles? Okay, so every year in the winter time, the last at least four years, I see it come up in the different forums for the different critters. What can I do to keep my water from freezing? And inevitably, somebody is going to mention that you can take a water bottle, put salt in it, and make a salt water bottle, and it will keep your water from freezing because salt water freezes at a much lower temperature than water regularly does. And I've tried this and it works, but only to a certain degree. It's only going to last up to a certain temperature. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take three of these size bottles from my smaller goat tubs and then I've got a big one that had uh, tonic water in it. I'm going to put that in the big girl's tub. We're going to do it tonight. I'm going to video this for you guys. We are supposed to get down to 20 degrees tonight. So I'm going to do it tonight. Tomorrow night, I think we're supposed to be back up to like 32. But anyway, so I'm just going to video record this and show you how it works. Now in each one of these, I'm going to put, I'm not like measuring it because I'm just going to eyeball it. And the salt I'm using is this iodized salt because honestly, iodized salt really doesn't do much for the human body. So let's use it. It's super cheap. But I'm going to aim for roughly two tablespoons in the bottom of this just so we've got like what a really good chance that it's going to work, right? Lots and lots of salt. Let's see. Whee! I'm going to guess that's roughly two tablespoons. And then turn the water on. Start filling her up. Whee! There we go. I leave a little bit of head space so the bottle can crinkle if it needs to with the temperature change. And then I'm going to shake the daylights out of it so it mixes up real well. And then we're going to go out to the goat pen with these and we're going to get them in their waters. Now you want to make sure whatever you use has a cap that's got some serious ability to screw down. You don't want one of those caps that's really thin or, or, or shallow because you, I mean, it's not going to kill your critter, hopefully. I'm not going to say it won't because it shouldn't, but... You know, if it were, I've never had one pop or leak, but I always make sure that I've got a good depth to my lid and that they're really tight. So I'm going to finish filling these up and then we're going to go out to the goat yard. And just to make sure I was making this as fair as possible, I added quite a bit of salt to this big jug. So hopefully it's kind of adequate to what I've got in the small ones. I'm going to fill it up, shake it and go out to the goat yard. Nikki's enjoying dinner got her water bottle in there and I leave just a little bit of an air bubble in the top of them so the bottle it can squish but it also helps keep it upright floating so right now it's in the 40s but we're supposed to like I said supposedly getting down to 20 tonight so we will see what this looks like in the morning here is Miss Piglet's water uh, water bucket same thing got it in there it's ready to go hopefully keep it somewhat ice free overnight now there is going to be build up on top and around the sides that's just the way it is it's not a, a heater it's just designed to keep the an area from freezing is what this whole idea is it's not to keep the entire thing from freezing because that's just not going to happen believe me there's going to be ice but uh, it'll keep hopefully a section from freezing over Okay, so you see how that water bottle's floating. The idea is that it'll have a spot that'll float like that, and the ice around the water bottle will stay thin and maybe not as frozen. So then, hopefully, the critter will go and bump it with their nose and push it down, allowing them to access the water. Yeah, you're going to have some that are stinkweeds and pull it out. It, it just it's not, it never fails. It's just going to happen. But uh, a lot of them leave it alone. They just ignore it. All right, so many things freeze at about 32 degrees Fahrenheit. That includes the water for your goat, your cow, your horse, your pig, your sheep, etc., etc., etc. That, so 32 degrees, that's my playing point, right? Where I'm, I know I'm going to be breaking ice. Now, salt water 
has a freezing point of 28.4 degrees. I'm pretty sure that point four means something. 28.4 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the freezing point for salt water. So it's not a huge difference. I have four degrees, you guys. I don't know. But it does work. I have used it. It's not phenomenal, but I'll tell you what. It is a sure of a lot cheaper than um, hot water tank heaters. Those things are so expensive to run. Um, something else that we've done, we have to protect the tube or the uh, you have to protect the wiring and the tube, especially from well all of the above: goats, cows, hor pigs, horses, sheep. They like to nibble, right? Especially goats or horses. I'm telling you, those two are the worst. But um, a bubbler for a fish tank, you know, the fish tank bubblers that get the oxygen going in the fish tank, you put one of those, kind of a good sized one, depending on the size of your tank, and it bubbles up and it can actually keep the ice really soft or even broken at the top of the tank. But it's going to depend on how cold it gets. So, with all of that being said, tonight we're supposed to reach 20 degrees. And if the salt water freezes at 28.4, am I defeating the whole point of even doing this, or is it going to work? So in the morning, as soon as I get John on the bus, it's like the coldest part of the morning, 8 a.m., we're going to walk out here and we're going to see what this looks like. Did it work? Does it not work? And maybe we can lay to rest the huge debate that is constantly on the internet about these salt water bottles. I know they work. I've used them. But again, only to a certain point. When it's maintained less than 25 degrees day and night, they don't work at all. You're breaking ice every single day. So anyway, we're going to check this in the morning and we'll see what the results are. Here's another tip for you. When I know it is getting cold, I absolutely do not fill that thing all the way full. And I showed you on this video, some of them were full, like the one for the babies. And well, I think everybody pretty much had a full uh, water tub. Typically, I don't do that, especially if we're going to stay really cold. But during the day, we're exposed to be in the 40s. So... I went ahead and left those ones full. Um, this one, I, it's just the fuller they are and if they freeze hard, you're in for a nightmare getting that ice out, and especially on those hard, uh, hard rubber ones, you end up breaking them. So on these plastic, or not plastic, but these, these soft rubber, see how it flexes, it's easier to break the ice, but on those ones that are like hard plastic or hard rubber, you end up breaking your tub instead of the ice and then you're out of tub. So, um, I don't fill them all the way full, and I've got some tips and tricks for how to get ice out of those without breaking them as well. So there you go. But we're going to see how this looks in the morning, but uh, we will see how it works. <laughs> I could go on and on, but I'm not going to. Instead, I'll end with Kelly and Aurora enjoying their dinner. just got John off to school. Everything is frozen. It's a brisk 20, 21 degrees outside right now. So let's go see if those salt water bottles worked for the goaties. That is Piglet's water. There's Nikki's, the babies, and I can't quite see all the way down to the girls. Well, let's see. First off, I don't think an animal is going to be able to move that with their nose. Can you move that with your nose? No, I can't even move it. So, we've got the handy dandy, my helper and my hammer. She knows what's going on, huh? Yeah. Piglet. <laughs> so, I mean, the ice isn't very, very thick. If it had been colder and like cold like this and then stayed cold, they would not have worked at all these water bottles. Now tonight it'll be curious to see how it works because today we're supposed to be in the 40s approximately and then tonight only about 32. So we'll see what it looks like in the morning. Now I gotta go break the rest. Good morning, Nikki. Good morning, babies. I'm not ignoring you. Good morning, Piglet. Good morning, Piglet. Oh, head scratches. I see someone slept with her head 
and her everything out. See that? That's frost. He's frost. You're frosted. I'm trying for a new goat do. Huh? You can see her house is full of straw. Good morning, Nikki. Blink, blink. Uh-uh. No, not having it. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Piggy. You hiding? Where are you? I'm coming. I am. I'm coming right now to break your water. Hang on. So this probably isn't the greatest morning for showing how these salt water bottles can help keep um, a spot in the water tub from freezing as easily, but I mean, I'm going to show you anyways. It's, so it's 37 degrees, and as you can see above me, it's overcast. We maybe got to 34 last night, so enough to get cold, and some of these buckets have ice. So instead of being done today, I'm sure this video will go at least one more day so I can catch a 32 degree morning. But I am going to show you what I've got out here right now. So it is 37 degrees, and this is piglet's water. If you were a goat, see how I could just move it? It kept a spot right here. I can get my hand, see that? That water bottle was able to move around just enough during the night to keep that spot clear. So that would work so an animal could keep drinking. Over there, that's Nikki. That's her tub, and there's no ice in it. Right here, this is the tub for the little guys, and there's no ice in it. There was ice in piglets, though. So it's always interesting what you'll find. Everybody's enjoying morning breakfast. It's a bit chilly this morning with the wind, but compared to yesterday with a low of 21, We'll take today. And now this is the big girls. That's these two. This is their water. And this black tub does have ice in it. But it's really nice and thin, so they'll... It just crumbles. Yeah, the water bottle, they move around just a little bit with the wind like we've had to kind of break up the top of it. So that could be what helped keep uh, Nikki and the two boys. But might have kept theirs from freezing over as much. So we do have some wind going on today. I shouldn't say just today. It was windy all night long. Um, and these clouds tell me we are about to get something. Rain or snow. It's too warm, honestly, for snow. But, uh, we'll see what happens. I know they're, the forecast today said we are in for some cold and some freeze, so we'll see what happens.